Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Motocab Adventure. Uh, I am your host, Chad the Adventure Dude. Today I want to go through some of the basics of advtracks.eu. Uh, that is a website where you can upload tracks um, that you've done from your previous adventures. Uh, other people can see them and then follow your tracks and uh, basically follow the adventure that you took before. Um, so in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to uh, basically sign up um, and edit your profile. Um, and in a second video in this two-part series, I'll show you how to upload and edit a track. Uh, so let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to pretend like I don't already have an account set up. Uh, and I am going to create an account through one of my uh, social media things. So I'll try it with Facebook. Sure. All right, so you're going to put your email address up here. Um, I'm going to use uh, my personal email address so you don't see that right now. Um, oh, yeah, sure, you can do either one of these. I'll do both. Um, set your country, not Uzbekistan. <laughs> Keep it metric because the rest of the world makes sense. <laughs> and that's it. Like, I already have an account, right? So. Here I am, and it's already done. That's like the simplest setup I've ever seen <laughs> for any website. Okay, so now we're gonna make an account as if we didn't have a social media account to link it to. So I'm just going to create a new user uh, that is not actually going to be used. And I'm going to enter an email address that you can't see right now. One that is valid. Create a password. Make sure the password has uh, some numbers in it. Create a little bio here. I'm just gonna say this is for this video. Select my country. Keep it, um, I'll turn it into Imperial since I understand that easier, us Americans. And just click or don't click these, and um, if you want to receive the uh, newsletter and whatnot, I will. So sign up. Uh, do the CAPTCHA thing. And I'm done. So from here, I can uh, start to share a track. I can follow uh, one of my friends. So I'll follow uh, XLADV, the guy behind that. So now I'm following him can look at a bunch of photos. I can uh, go off of one of the tags here. So let's say I wanna check out Kilimanjaro. Someone did something around there. And here's a track from there. How awesome actually. <laughs> I might check this out later. So I don't know if I mentioned this already, but all this is free. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything. Um, there's no like subscription fees or anything like that. Uh, they just have a little donation thing if you wanna do that. Um, but otherwise it's completely free and you get to share tracks, uh, GPX files free of charge. I know that some other competition, um, you do have to pay monthly fees to do that. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. I mean, this is, this is made by someone who rides for riders. So now that I've just registered as a user, it's probably a good idea to update my profile a little bit. Um, so I can just click right on my guy. Mr. ADV, <laughs> um, I don't have any tracks, photos, or videos yet since I just created uh, this profile. But from here, I can uh, change anything that I had recently done. I can opt out of those emails if I wanted to. I can change my password. Um, if you wanna add social media links, you can do that. Um, pretty awesome for like Instagram, especially. Uh, I know that like the adventure motorcycle community, community is really big on Instagram right now. Um, I can add my YouTube channel, which is excellent. Uh, everything else, Facebook, Twitter, I had no idea what that is. Um, your blog uh, website of choice. So um, it's all there for you to do and I uh, highly suggest doing it. Uh, I can also add a bike um, or bikes rather if you're much cooler than me and you have multiples. Um, so I'm gonna add my 2000 R1150 GS and it's closest to a 1200. And I can actually add a image of the bike. So that is not, there we go. There's an image of my bike. Um, so chose that file, save. 
And so you can see I added my bike, uh, shows a little bit of the information I put in. It's got the photo there. Now people can check this out. And now when you create a ride, someone will see what bike you rode on that ride. Okay, let's pretend like I don't already have a photo here. So I'm gonna upload my first photo for profile picture. So I'll choose that. Okay, and now I have my new profile picture photo. I can also edit my slogan here. So I can just click on that. And it's edited. I'm gonna update my banner photo since this one didn't come out the best. So I'm gonna to go top right corner here, click on the image icon, choose a photo. And there we go, got a photo set up here. Now you're pretty well set up as a user. So if you go to the home page, you can see your banner photo, your profile photo, your uh, slogan, um, any tracks you're making, whatever. Uh, so it's all there. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for following along and I hope you learned something new. Um, you can click the video shown on the screen to follow the second part of this series uh, where I show you how to upload and edit your tracks. Um, as always, have fun ride safe out there and go make some tracks.